Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video uh, I'm going to be talking about a very quick cartel market update because we have some very interesting sales right now. Uh, the very first thing that probably is going to catch your eye is the Sith Recluse armor set is up for sale and you might imagine that that would cost a lot of cartel coins because it's one of the most popular armor sets in the game. Not only does it look absolutely amazing but it sells for an insane amount of credits on the GTN. Uh, we are talking upwards of 100 million credits and the fact of the matter is that it actually sells at that price. Of course you can expect a little bit of a price drop now that it's available on the cartel market so a lot of people are going to be out there buying it up. That only means that it's now going to become more affordable for people that have been waiting for a long time to collect that armor set. And, um, and for those of you who want to be smart, you know, get that armor set, hold on to it and sell it for higher prices. Uh, as the time goes on because in a few months once again this will be the rarest armor set in the game but anyways you might think that Bioware would overprice that surprisingly enough uh, we have a very rare site here they actually are offering it for a semi-reasonable price it's up here for around 2200 cartel coins it's on sale until Friday uh, after Friday will, the price will bump up to 2600 so if you are double minded about purchasing this whether it's for yourself or whether it's using cartel coins that you saved up or whatever uh, you might want to get it before Friday because then you're going to be paying an extra 400 cartel coins for nothing and um, the reason I want to quickly make this video was because it is once again we are seeing one of the best conversion rates of cartel coins to credits that you will see in a very very long time. Uh, this is the second best probably. By far the best was uh, the lightning weapon tuning which believe it or not went up on the cartel market for 1800 cartel coins. That was a conversion rate of up to 1 credit to 30,000 credits. Uh, to give you a sense of how amazing that was, a normal conversion rate is 1 cartel coin to uh, around six to 7,000 credits. So the lightning weapon tuning was the best. And this Sith Recluse armor set, the price really varies. It depends upon how much you can sell it for, but it's going to be a very, very good conversion rate. Now there's two things to keep in mind and two reasons why you could say I'm making this video. The first one is you will also see that we have the nightlife packs available and the reason both of these packs have been brought back is because it's in anticipation for the nightlife event which is going to be hitting the game on June uh, 13th. So in the seven days, one week from now, we will see the nightlife event come to the game and we I don't know if the uh, packs will persist until the nightlife event is over or whether they'll be removed but either way that's why you see them there and the fact of the matter is do not purchase them guys. Uh, two reasons why. Firstly, the RNG is not too great in them uh, because the thing you should remember now is the current cartel packs give you armor boxes. So if you get the upper body armor, you get both the uh, you get the upper body armor which is the chest plate and then you also get the gloves and stuff like that. But these are a very old cartel pack and they only give you single armor pieces. So believe it or not, if you got a gold item out of this pack, um, for example, if you open the uh, one of the Club Vertica ones and you got a Tula Cord armor piece and you're like, yeah, I got a gold item, that could just be the bracers, that could be just the belt. Um, so it's, it's very, very hard to get some really good drops. And so you're not really going to want to waste your money on those. And also, I don't believe they drop cartel market certificates, which is probably one of the only reasons you would want to open an old cartel pack. And actually, when I first saw them, I thought, okay, that's cool. People can get those certificates. But it turns out that they actually don't even drop out of these cartel packs. So you definitely, bottom line, you want to stay away from these, okay? They are going to be very bad wastes of money. You probably won't be very satisfied with what you get out of them. Rather, if you're looking for a specific item out of those packs, just spend less cartel coins to buy the Sith Recluse armor set, sell it for what, whatever it's selling for on the GTN, and use those credits to buy whatever you want. Chances are you'll be paying half the price of a hyper crate, and you'll be able to have the credits to buy whatever you want out of those cartel packs, no matter what it is. So um, that's definitely the way to go. But the second thing to keep in mind when it comes to uh, this armor set is you don't have to pay real money for it. Keep in mind, you know, it's all about getting people to use your referral link. So offer people credits, go in the forums and participate and leave your referral link there, go on Reddit or whatever, I don't know. But just advertise your referral link because once again, all you would need is like four people to click your link and, um, and uh, you know, you'll have a Sith Recluse armor set there for you. So um, definitely now is the time, if any, because you are seeing one of the best conversion rates. Uh, the other time to do it would have been with the lightning weapon tuning, which a lot of people did, believe it or not, and they got super rich. So yeah, aside from that announcement, uh, the other one thing I wanted to end this video off with is a little bit of a discussion regarding what the trend that we're seeing here, because uh, the last armor set we saw go up for direct sale was the Satil Shans armor set, which once again is another really, really popular armor set that sold for um, many moons of credits. 
Um, the price did drop very significantly for the Satil Sean Armour set. Uh, the boots themselves were just selling for 50 million credits, and they sold. I sold a ton of them at that price, and then now they're not. They haven't even uh, come up from 20 million. So the prices took a little bit of a hit, and they have not yet recovered. I don't anticipate that will happen for the Sith Recluse because it's just an infinitely more popular armor set. And the fact of the matter is, with a player-based economy, uh, it's very dependent upon what people know will sell for high prices, and people know they can sell the Sith Recluse for high prices. So no one's going to be plummeting the economy here. Everyone's going to be continually listing their items for a much higher price, and so you won't really see that same type of price drop. And also, since we're seeing this trend, uh, we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of the really cool gold armor sets available for direct sale, and they're all for these very reasonable prices. So I wouldn't be surprised if later on we'll see Tulag Horde hit the cartel market, Revan, Reborn, maybe Revan's original armor set, and those are going to be once again absolutely epic conversions of cartel coins to credits. So if you have the you know t resilience and patience hold on to your monthly cartel coin stipends and wait for moments like these right these are the times when you're going to be getting the most bang for your buck and also you know get people to use a referral link and um and hoard those cartel coins save them and use them at times like this anyways i do hope you guys enjoyed the video and for those of you who are uh, you know getting this through clues armor set i do wish you guys uh, i hope you guys are really happy with it and if you decide to sell it i hope you guys get really big sales i'll see you guys in the next one